Alright, I just wanted to do a quick uh, trial video here. I'm just trying out this uh, Cam Studio software that I just got. Uh, first and foremost, I'm, uh, I'm using Cam Studio. I'm also using a software program called ImageJ. And what that does is it allows us to uh, have some basic PAX tools for any image that uh, you can find and save to your computer. <clears throat> so my first image obviously here is a portable chest. I have deleted the patient uh, demographics here. Uh, this is a portable chest done supine. Um, obviously I've, uh, I've got the ability with this little tool here to kind of change the window level. Kind of got a mid-range there also just like that. I just want to look at my image a little more clearly uh, before I start the critique. Now Traditionally, we do like a five-step critique. Uh, step one is anatomy and positioning. Uh, for this particular one, anatomy that is required is uh, both lungs, obviously. Uh, both apices need to be uh, displayed as well as uh, the bases of the lungs, including the costophrenic angles on either side. We have those here. Um, we obviously want to see a little bit of spine shadow through the mediastinum. Uh, we want to see the heart shadow as well. Uh, normally the heart shadow is a little more off to our left, uh, I'm sorry, the patient's left, our right as we're viewing, but uh, it's shifted a little bit uh, the opposite way. So that indicates some rotation. Uh, another way to look for rotation is to look for the sternoclavicular joints. You can see those right here. There's one here um, away from midline. This one's kind of towards midline, so I can tell that uh, these being, uh, you know, not not midline where they're supposed to be, or or equidistant from midline, until the patient is rotated to his right. Um, can also tell that because of the uh, the ribs here; they're kind of getting a little more elongated towards the right side, whereas the patient's left side is um, not quite as elongated. You see more curvature here. Uh, the, the heart shadow, you should have more heart shadow to the patient's left of the spine than to the right like we're seeing here. Uh, so that's a little bit of anatomy and positioning, not everything, but I don't want to make too long of a video here for my first trial. Uh, image properties, density and contrast. Uh, this was done on a Fuji CR system, so I know that uh, the S number was adequate. Uh, so you know that that's one way you can evaluate densi density. Also, you can just look. Uh, visually speaking, density is good. Uh, if, if you're underexposed, you would not be able to window level to a place where you can actually see uh, areas with, with much more penetration uh, of the beam, like the area below the diaphragm here or the spine through the mediastinum. Let's just auto-reset that. Um, Contrast. Uh, obviously, there was high KVP used. I wish the tech would have written his technique here, but uh, we wouldn't have that penetration through the mediastinum without high KVP. I know that it's there. Uh, third step here uh, motion, artifacts, and grid lines. I'm not necessarily certain that I see motion. Got a lot of artifacts. Um, this right here makes me think that there's some maybe some subcutaneous emphysema, these dark areas right here. Uh, normally you don't see that. It could be, you know, some kind of a towel or something bunched up, but the fact that it's dark indicates that it's air. Um, let's see, what else? Artifacts got a lot of lines here. Uh, this is looks like a central line coming down right here. Uh, I see the tip right about this area. Uh, I've got an ET tube. Uh, ending right here. It's a little bit high. The carina looks like it's right about there. Let me see if I can clean that up a little bit to visualize it better. Not going to be too much. I think I see the bifurcation right here. So it's it's high, but it's in there. Um, this patient also has what looks like heart leads. There's the little hub of it, a little metal thing right here, and then some wires heading down this way. You can tell they have the leads attached right here. The tech tried to get it out of the way. This may be 
looks like some kind of a maybe a chest tube. It's got a radiolucent band. I'm not certain though. Uh, but there are a few artifacts there. Um, identification, obviously the the uh, I'm not sure if the tech had the original marker on here or not, but they've annotated the right side. Uh, the position has been annotated. Um, you know, obviously we got to check the patient's wristband and uh, usually medical record and uh, full name are required per JCO regulations for inpatients and uh, medical record. Uh, I'm sorry, excuse me, date of birth and patient's name uh, for outpatients, but I always encourage my students to check all three. So proper identification uh, minus the technique, which I would have preferred and proper marking of the right side here, um, at least annotated. Uh, we always prefer a, a radiopaque marker uh, on the actual cassette itself. Uh, let's see, radiation protection. I see some collimation. This, this line is, uh, you can tell by the little white edge here next to the dark border that the tube was kind of tilted a little bit. Obviously the, uh, the collimation went outside the area of the image receptor. Uh, we don't we don't encourage that at all. So uh, that could have been collimated a little bit better. Uh, however, all the anatomy is included. <coughs> uh, let's see. I'm, I don't know if the patient was shielded or not. I would have to speak to that tech in particular. But it looks like looks like uh, adequate exposure factors were used. Uh, let's see. We had anatomy and positioning, density and contrast. Motion, artifacts, grid lines. I didn't mention grid lines. There, I don't see any, so it means the uh, image receptor and the, and the uh, central ray were properly aligned. Um, identification and radiation protection. That's a basic film critique. Uh, I can get into more details later. Uh, this is really just my first trial with Camtasia. I'll try to upload it to YouTube and maybe put it on my blog here and uh, see how it works. Thanks for watching.